if you have been asking how can i stop loan uh, from calling my contact or accessing my contact so in this video i'm gonna just give you some tips on what exactly you need to understand about most of this loan app and of course how you can actually stop them from calling your contact so i have an idea of two ways like just two examples that i can actually give you in order to understand uh what you need to do for them not to have access or accessing your contacts or calling them so the first thing i'm gonna just uh tell you let me quickly do this google doc let me see doc, doc google so i just want to give you some kind of like ideas so you can be able to to understand what i'm trying to say so it's of like two ways two ways to stop loan apps from accessing your contact or calling your contact so yeah it's of two ways the first method which of course i just want to tell you is that first method is that you should pay the loan you take from the app within the stipulated time so once you pay the loan you take from the loan app they don't have they're not gonna have any reason to access your contact or to call any of your contact you know like you have to make sure you follow the times prompt so let's say for example you take a loan from them and you tell them that on the agreement section you tell them that okay they you'll pay back the money within the next 30 days so stick to that 30 days make sure you pay back the money completely on the 29th date so that's how it works so this way they're not going to con any of your contact because you won't have any business with them as long as you have paid back the money you borrow from their platform so this is just the most easiest way to stop them from contacting or accessing your contact or calling your contact so the second one is sound somehow let's say second method second method yeah so the second method is not taking a loan taking a loan from loan apps so like if you don't take a loan from loan apps there's no reason for them to you have any access to your contact so this is like i don't have any business with you so why would you have access to the contacting my people regarding loans you get because once you take a loan from any of this loan app you have already granted them access you're gonna see that pops up when you're trying to get a loan from uh from a loan app you know like you have already granted them access to contact your people contact people on your list that once you did not pay back their money they can access your contact and call people that you have on your phone then they will gonna tell that person that those people that you have taken a loan from them and you did not pay back the money so they should help them to tell you that you should come and pay back the money it sounds funny right but trust me this is just the two easiest way <clears throat> you don't need to stress it and if you don't accept all the privacy policy when they are trying to when you're trying to take a loan from them there is no way forward for you to be able to have access to loan so this is just simple way some of them will even put a template on your phone so once you pay back the money they're going to remove that template but if you did not pay back the money the template will always be on your phone so there's nothing you can do about it so that is how it works so this, this is just the easiest way that i feel like you can use to pay back or to like 
stop them from accessing your contact or calling your contact so i don't know how this sound helpful but maybe this is not something exactly what you want to look into or to watch but trust me this is just these two method aside from these two method there's no other method you can stop from calling your contact as long as you have taken a loan from a loan house and you did not pay back the money they're gonna have access to call your contact so this is just two simple ways to get right of that